So I want you to see this x-ray and try to guess what is the uh, pathology, what is the disease. You can pause the video if you want. Now I will explain. So we will do this systematically. We will first see the trachea and we will see the trachea is central. So now we will see the bones, the humerus of both sides are normal, the joint is normal, there is no fracture in the ribs, there is nothing. Now we will see the soft tissue of both sides, soft tissue, soft tissues of both sides, there is nothing. And now we go to the thorax proper and we see that here, here you can see, you can't make out the lung. And if, if I imagine the lung should have been like this, but the angle of the lung with the diaphragm has been obliterated. This angle, costophrenic angle, has been obliterated, which is a sign of what is the sign of? It is a sign of pleural effusion. If you can see, it is on the both sides here and here, so it is a bilateral pleural effusion. A bilateral pleural effusion is something uh, which is systemic. What do I mean by that? Suppose I had a lung with uh, suppose focus of PB, then the fusion has been on the only on the site where the PB focus was there. But if something is there like nephrotic syndrome or liver cirrhosis or some uh, congestive heart failure, these conditions will cause bilateral pleural effusions or transitative pleural effusions, which is checked by what criteria? Lights criteria. Now this costophrenic angles are obliterated on both sides. Now if you see this lung field and if you try to see a normal x-ray, it doesn't appear so black. And if you see one vessel, suppose I see this vessel, I can almost trace it to the end. You can trace of the vessels on almost up to the end of the deep pleura. So this means normally you can't do that and you can do this here. So it means that there is increased vascularity, increased pulmonary congestion here. So even in x-ray we make and see and have several clues and once we see hold the x-ray we get a diagnosis. Now let's see the heart. If you see the heart, the length here, the maximum length of the heart and the maximum length of the thorax. You can see it is more than 0.5. The cardiothoracic ratio is more than 0.5 so it means there is cardiomegaly. So what is the diagnosis? The diagnosis is congestive heart failure with pulmonary edema with pleural effusion, so bilateral pleural effusion. And in which side do you feel it is more? Just for writing sake, it appears to be equal in both sides. So we won't write anything here. So bilateral pleural effusion, right equal to left. This is the diagnosis of this X-ray.